There are many ways to measure nucleotide diversity within and between human populations. One very useful measure is called nucleotide diversity. Nucleotide diversity is very simple, requiring no more math skills than basic addition and multiplication. To start, imagine we have DNA sequence data for eight individuals, four from the Cheyenne, a Native American ethnic group, and four individuals from the Ache, a South American hunter-gatherer tribe. We line up the DNA sequence data to a known reference sequence. The reference sequence is a DNA sequence that earlier scientists provided to help later scientists organize and present their data. In our example, we are looking at a portion of the mitochondrial genome that is known to be highly variable. Notice that for most nucleotide positions, everyone has the same nucleotide. Yet if we look closer, there are differences, which are easier to see when we only show those bases that are different from the reference. Looking at these bases, we can make a number of statements. We can see that for this particular area of the mitochondrial DNA, and for these particular people, the Cheyenne have more differences than the Ache, which suggests that the Cheyenne are more genetically diverse than the Ache. While this qualitative statement is interesting, for population data, scientists typically require quantitative data to make deeper, more statistically meaningful statements about diversity. Nucleotide diversity is an excellent way to measure genetic diversity from DNA sequence data. Nucleotide diversity is often defined as the probability that two nucleotides are different when comparing two DNA sequences drawn at random. Now, this definition might take some time to get your head around, but it actually means something very simple. Imagine you're looking at 100 base pairs of DNA from the same gene, but drawn from two different people. You compare these two DNA fragments to each other, and you see that there is one base that is different. The remaining 99 bases are the same. So we have 100 bases, but only one difference. From this information, what is the percentage of bases that are different? I'll give you some help. If there's one difference out of 100, is the percentage 1%, 10%, or 50%? It is one difference out of 100, then the answer is 1%. We can also convert percentages into frequencies by simply moving the decimal place to the left two places. So 1% equals 0 0.01 in frequency. If you're following so far, then congratulations. You know how to calculate nucleotide diversity. Calculations from real DNA data are typically more time consuming because you're examining many more bases of DNA and you're averaging nucleotide diversity over many people. We can calculate nucleotide diversity within a specific population by averaging many pairwise comparisons of people from that population. That is, we can draw two people from the population, calculate their nucleotide diversity, and repeat the process, averaging nucleotide diversity over many, many comparisons. Now, ideally, this estimate of nucleotide diversity is an average of all possible pairwise comparisons of the population sample. We can also calculate nucleotide diversity between two populations. In this case, instead of drawing two people from the same population, we draw one person from one population and one person from the other population, and we compare their sequences to each other.